Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Uh, so last time out, it was a bunch of side quest stuff and social links. Uh, and we also had a bit of a theory as to who the next person uh, on the t on the Midnight Channel might be. Um, so, beginning of this part, we're, it's raining outside, it's midnight. So it's time for us to find out whether we were actually right. And to see if uh, someone is going to appear on the Midnight Channel. And shit. It appears to be a girl in, in a swimsuit. Where have we seen a girl in a swimsuit on TV? Hmm. <laughs> God damn. <sighs> it's hard to make out her face because it's zooming in on her chest and ass. <laughs> God damn it. So, yeah. Uh, basically. <laughs> Yosuke, put it in your pants, buddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Atlas being not so subtle with where her. Uh, uh, her. where her kind of social link. Uh, where her, you know, um, shadow is kind of going. So. But we'll see as we go on. So we're heading to Mariku Tofu tomorrow to see if we can find out if one if Risa is actually fucking here, and then we also need to find out, uh, try and warn her to make sure that she doesn't get um, so that she doesn't get herself into any danger. Well done, detective. I wonder how it told you. I wonder how long it got you to put those two the two things together. Anyway, so yeah, apparently there's a big crowd outside Marikyu after Marikyu Tofu um, because of the fact that Rise might be there. So, Yosuke, buddy, put it back in your pants. <laughs> Here we go in. I don't really care about celebrities, but it's not like I got anything better to do. Sure, I'll tag along. <laughs> I love Kanji so much. Sorry, but me and you uh, plan. I did find that kind of funny, though, that, you know, he starts talking about uh, Rise and her figure, shall we say. And <laughs> he kind of clicks over at Chia and she's like, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, I find that kind of funny. Uh, Yosuke, you should probably tell that to yourself, bud. <laughs> we are probably more aware of this than you. Looks as if the crowd has thinned a little bit. Oh, Dachi, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, it's you guys. These gawkers keep streaming in with their cars, trying to park in the middle of the shopping district. That seems kind of rude. Very rude. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? We're asking why a plainclothes detective is here doing traffic control. This is a very good point from Kanji. Oh, uh, well, the police yeah, so basically, <laughs> the uh, police department isn't that big, so yeah, it's kind of all hands on deck kind of thing. So, yeah. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty! Kanji's just that badass. You're <laughs> right. To be honest, that is what I really <laughs> what I like about Kanji most of all. Is that he doesn't bullshit. He just says what he thinks. And just, you know, to down to the hell with the consequences kind of thing. So I kinda like that. He's no longer here. Hi, Uncle. How are you? What are you guys doing? Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi. Are you friends with them? Like it's any of your business. Can't you just you answer him, dude? <laughs> so I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? We were just passing by. Is that so? Oh, um, well, who wouldn't want to come check it out if they found out an idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store? I'm a big band. Hmm. Fine, but remember, she might. Yeah, he still is kind of a. Uh, Suspicious uh, about us, to be honest. 
But to be fair, we don't really help ourselves really, because now we're handing out with Kaji Tatsumi, the last person who went missing for a little while after being making friends with Yukiko, the first person to go missing. So yeah, we don't exactly help ourselves out, do we really? Um, you know, when we have to be kind of um, you know, because the answer we gave was kind of offhand as well. It's kind of dismissive. Got to be like, there's nobody there. You know, we're just passing through. It's kind of a, a non-answer, really, isn't it? But there you go. And it seems like Rise isn't here. A rumor? What? She's not here? Seriously? You sound like the world's I like that from. I like. I like that Kanji kind of rips ribs him for it a little bit. <laughs> How upset he is. Oh, so with this one, you have to pick a specific one. Uh, if you pick the right one, then it's kind of a... a it gives you a boost, I think, with um, with Yosuke. There you go. Uh, pick Gan... Ka uh, yeah, you're picking Gan Modoki. Uh, because he's not very good with... Fried tofu patties with yeah, he's not very good with tofu, and apparently, and so that's kind of the. Um, oh, okay. I know what you mean. That's kind you of the that. easiest one to eat, as it were, if you're not that into tofu, basically. So there you go. Let's see here. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. By the way, this is so hey, dumb. <laughs> you can kind of tell. You can tell from fucking here that she's yes. not. May I help you? Not an old what? lady. Then who's that? What? Can see her red hair, for God's sake. Uh, are you Rise? Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of interesting to uh, when we meet uh, Rise for the first time. She's very much. The Sorry, opposite of what you so would expect a kind of uh, idol to be, you know what I mean? Which She's kind of... Which again? If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Yeah, she's kind of low energy. Um, Played by uh, Laura Bailey, I think, who's a pretty well-known um, voice actress. A Does a lot of these Here kinds of things. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. Um, yeah, and she does. She actually does a really good job of uh, with the uh, with the role. Like you know, starts off kind of tired and kind of low energy, and then when you meet her, and then when you talk to her afterwards, then she comes becomes like very kind of loud and kind of very high energy. So yeah, she does a really good job with Risa. Like stalkers? Are you guys fans of mine? I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Kanji here is such an asshole. Why'd you let that slip? Her curves, her posture, <laughs> even her beautiful <laughs> I love this from Kanji. You finished checking him out yet or what? What an asshole. Oh, <laughs> but to be fair, after so the, um, you. what happened in the, the camping trip, uh, you know, uh, Yosuke kind of deserves that. But there you go. Well, that's why, we've been investigating that's why I, lo I love these two so yeah. much. Their interactions are so fucking Sorry. funny. Um, uh, let's see. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? I mean, it's not like regularly scheduled programming. How do I explain this? That thing that was on last night, the Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, yeah, so she already that? knows about it. Wait, that what, that that, that makes night? our job a bit easier. I heard the rumors from some friends of mine, but that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before, and the bust line. The bust? Huh? huh? Mine aren't that big. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean now. <laughs> Yosuke, <laughs> watch your mouth, buddy. I'm sorry. Don't apologize so much. You're funny. Hey, she smiled. Yeah, she actually smiled. We actually cheered her up a little bit. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either. But you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. I know this is sudden, but we're not lying. Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Yeah, Yosuke uh, kind of saves himself here a little bit. <laughs> Becomes slightly less of an asshole. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. 
let Risa know and uh, so that she can uh, protect herself a little bit more. Here you go, three ganmo. That'll be 600 yen. There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Oh, seriously? Thanks. Uh, Yosuke Senpai. <laughs> I love Kanji's continuing here just to be a jackass. He's just like, you don't like tofu, right? In front of the girl who's giving you tofu. <laughs> so we've got a block of tofu for dinner. Nice. So late that day. Thank you very much. Yeah, again, <laughs> this isn't very smart from our point of view as well. Um, it's a nice, this, what happens next is a nice way to put even more kind of stress, uh, put even more suspicion on us from, uh, Dojima. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. Like always? Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? I just needed a rest. Yeah, clearly there's more to it than she's letting on. Um, but she doesn't want to talk about it right now. So, yeah, she's going to be going to a high, a high school pretty soon. So, yeah. common with the recent victims. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Yeah, she kind of gives us away a little uh, bit here. Yeah. Someone told you already? <laughs> it was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. <sighs> Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Maybe you shouldn't say that in front of the person you're talking to there, buddy. <laughs> Just the thought, Adachi. Oh well, there you go. He's a bit of a dumbass. Here. The recent disappearances between those and the two homicides. There's too many questions with no So answers. yeah. Truth, I think this is also I kind of showing off showing off the fact warm. that, you know, the there is a lot of pressure starting to come down on Dojima and the other members of the police department that are investigating this. Which is maybe why he kind of goes to um, you know, every single potential lead, like, imaginable, um, even the ones that, you know, doesn't seem like it could be even slightly true, but there you go. Yeah, the prefectural police, we'll find out more, that's something else that we'll find out more about, uh, that starts becoming a thing after after the social link. Yeah. Sorry, after the Visual next break. dungeon. Sorry, I was trying to think. <laughs> you visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? So you can say about the cases, we just I said, see. we just talked about gossip. Which is true, actually, that's not a lie. <laughs> Forget it, I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met Risei Yeah, so... Dojima's kind of pissed at us again. <laughs> are you fighting again? Of course not. Here. No, we never fight. <laughs> Except for all the time. The tense atmosphere continues. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, if you say um, we talked about the cases with her, then he gets. Then he really kind of snaps at you. So it's kind of interesting in that regard. But to be honest, the saying we were talking about gossip, it's true. We were just talking about the rumours and what we thought about the Midnight Channel, basically. So, the chest area and waist are emphasised. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit clearer that I really like that shot, actually. That's kind of creepy. I, I find that shot kind of creepy, you know, of her kind of doing a typical idle pose, but it's all kind of staticky. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> So it's definitely Risei. The one on tonight seemed a lot creepier than the real Risei, but you can see her face clearly. There's no mistake. Let's all get together as soon as possible. So, yeah. So, it's pretty much confirmed at this point that Risei is going to be the next one targeted. So, that's going to be it for this part. <laughs> Join me next time um, when we're going to be uh, meeting up with the whole gang tomorrow 
and we'll be talking with and we'll be uh, trying to make sure that Rise isn't uh, actually shoved into the TV world. So yeah, see you next time.